What's up everybody? My name is Jason. Welcome to From Heroes to Icons. Today we are going over a little episode of mine which I call On the Run where we look at some of the comic books that I have collected. Usually within this uh, episode I go over like one lot of books or one run as they say. Uh, I mean it would be a full run but whatever I have of that whether it be for a creator or artist or writer or even a mini series or whatever we go over that show you what I have in my collection today I'll be going over Joe Madureira's Battle Chases which um, is a book that was uh, well renowned when it came out and exceptionally late but we loved it anyway because Joe Madureira was the first American artist which kind of was dubbed uh, American anime or American manga and um, I've got some books here to show you some things to talk about this great man with his artistic talent, starting out at a very young age. And um, stuff I have written down. Read it real quick, run through it, and then run through these books. Joe Madaria, or Joe Mad as he is called. Uh, his first published work was by Marvel, and it was in Marvel Comics Presents, number 89, which was published in 1991. Uh, there's a gap in between that. I guess he had to finish school and he had to uh, do the book in 1993 he penciled Deadpool the circle chase which I sold mine regretfully and have yet to rebuy it and that was pretty dope he said that his art uh, style was uh, heavily influenced by Arthur Adams which you could see very early in his career it was just uh, exceptionally elongated but it did look like Arthur Adams, just a little stretched out, which I guess you really can't combine his love for anime with uh, his love for Arthur Adams' artwork. Um, after that, before he uh, started his uh, run on Uncanny X-Men, they uh, had this series, The Age of Apocalypse. And he did uh, what I believe is now known as the first volume of Astonishing X-Men. Which I have to say, <laughs> I didn't have here. And I had paused it, but apparently you can't pause your phone for too long of a time. And then I had to restart the video. But um, these are said books. The Astonishing X-Men, uh, penciled by Joe Madaria. These books are uh, definitely, definitely fire. This is issue number two. Love Saber Tooth with Wild Child. And this is and this is really when he began to come into his own. Issue number three. And issue number four. All of the Age of Apocalypse titles were four issues. All the X-Men titles were interrupted. Why these books went forth. And when it switched back, Joe Mad was at the helm of that. Cool. And uh, during his X-Men run, we found out that Gambit was the one that actually betrayed the mutants and uh, underground the Morlocks, and he was uh, partly the cause for the mutant massacre of the Morlocks. And they went to outer space, they found out that there was a, a clone of Magneto, who Joseph, and he was hitting on Rogue, and I really didn't like that. But, <laughs> one issue I'll grab real quick, and um, something that Joe Mad became uh, quite known for, aside from his uh, spectacular action, and all these other things. But he um, was known for his ladies. Super, super dope. Love Rogue. So, Let's jump onto these books for these battle chases. I think uh, 1998 he left and under the imprint Cliffhanger, published by Image, he did battle chases. Um, J. Scott Campbell did Danger Girl. Uh, Humberto Ramos did Crimson. I think uh, Chris Bacalo did Steampunk. And there were a few others. Um, first had this 
the Topanga book that came with a wizard. And as you can see, uh, Red Monica and all her rambunctiousness. Yes, yes. Um, not a hard book to find, but sometimes the prices on these things, you can get it for a dollar, and then some people would charge like $20 for it. It's a little bit ridiculous. They got the hardcover, which uh, I think is like the first five issues collected in this or whatever. It's called The Gathering of Heroes. Pretty dope. Hardcover, slipcase book. And um, when I first met Joe Mataria, it was at a little corny comic con. And the book is green. I love it. It's my favorite color. And you can't go wrong with that gold foil right there. And I met him. He was a cool guy. He seemed very busy. I think he was working on uh, Darksiders at the time and had no idea when, if ever, he would draw comic books again. And he signed it. Boom. 2009. Gotta love that. And, um, I guess you can't send that to CGC. Well, it's a hardcover anyway, so a little bit too thick to be graded. Maybe. And, um, got some nice books here to show you. I got the Prelude. Is this the Prelude? Yes. This issue, um, this story, rather, was actually published in um, Fantasy Illustrated, I believe, which I have. I have that book, and it has a Frank Frazetta cover, but um, this the story that's in here was first published in that uh, Fantasy Illustrated. I don't remember the number, but I definitely want to get that graded. That book needs to be pressed, that magazine. Super dope, though. And, um, you know, this is a series which I bought uh, various copies of the same issue. Just couldn't be helped. And we got um, number one, which was a wraparound cover. When I bought this, I was unemployed. I had just lost my job, and I went there, and he didn't have any left. He had one copy left at Stinky's Collectibles, and he hooked me up. And this is a shout-out to Bueller and Comics with Bueller for the uh, see-through backing board here. Super dope. Got that. And I got the Chromium variant. Needed that in my life. Most definitely. Pure Fire. From Joe Mataria. And as you can see, the front had the corner, the original copy, had the corner box in front. And just the logo real big on the back. Got the Virgin on the Chromium. Virgin on the Chromium. But a smaller logo and a corner box on the Chromium. Very nice. We'll run through these real quick. Got another copy <laughs> of the original. And, um, this is not for children. This is uh, definitely for 18 and up. I got the Red Monica Peekaboo special. And this is from uh, another universe. And uh, double your pleasure, right? We got a uh, number two. And the chromium for that. Regular. Chromium from Dynamic Forces. See that beautiful shininess. We got uh, another number two, regular cover. And um, I think number three, one of these had a connecting back cover that had a giant picture of Red Monica on it. It's number three. And this is almost like a sword and sorcery type of deal the characters were dope love the little girl with the gloves gully and uh number four 
it had four different covers of all the characters. And um, I'm not going to show you. I have four copies of that. Uh, another number four, Garrison. Love this painting right here. Mm, the dedication even after the death of his wife. And another number four, the Calibretto. The Golem Robot. Seems like he got a lot of these ideas from uh, Chrono Trigger. And another number four with Nolan. The Summoner. And it seemed like Joe Matadera never finished this series, uh, found out because he was playing video games, unfortunately. So, there's that. Got a issue number five. This dude's like an um, evil Shaolin monk. Pretty dope. Got two of those. Number six, which I think had a couple of different covers. That's, uh, I forgot this dude's name. He used to draw Gen 13 also. And the A cover for number six. Nolan looks like he was in bad shape. But Joe Mad was a beast. The books were super late. And, um, it sucked, but we waited for him when they came out. We bought them. I think that's the Humberto Ramos variant. I don't have the J. Scott Campbell variant. I sold that too. Oh boy. What you gonna do? And the cover A for number seven. And number eight, which we must buy it another issue for because we love to have more than one and the final issue of battle chases number nine in red monica trying to get some of that love from garrison definitely pure fire definitely and um to me i don't know what joe madadaria is doing i know he's working on video games he's always working on a new game and uh I guess the game that he's famous for, which is his game. I, I, no doubt it's his. He gives credit to the people that work with him. But no doubt, when you create the characters and you write, like, the entire story, you know, you get the credit. And, um, no doubt, super dope game. Darksiders. Love this. This is with War. I had it for the PS3. Sold that and got the, uh, the War Master Edition for the PlayStation 4 and Darksiders 2, which was uh, leaps and bounds better than Part 1. And you get to play as Death in this. And he uses his Skype. Super awesome. Super dope. Had this for the PS3, the Special Edition. Sold it. Bought this for the PS4. Much better graphics. Trophies and all that good stuff. Love this game. Part 3 sucked. Sorry. But, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this quick special edition of, uh, Project Rewind, I guess, of, uh, On the Run featuring Joe Mataria's Battle Chases. And, uh, hopefully within the next few weeks or the next month or so, I guess I'll do this once a month, I will have another episode for you. But I will leave you with that. And I will catch you guys at the same bad time and at the same bad channel. Peace.